see the types of curves, parametric equation of line and also we are going to solve one numerical based on the line. And after watching this video, you will be able to find the parametric equation of the given line. Also, you will be able to find coordinates of any point given on the line in between the two endpoints or maybe somewhat outside of that endpoints. So let's see first the types of curves. The curves are the basic entities which can be used in CAD CAM to create the models and the model again can be used for the different applications to design, optimization, synthesis, analysis and also use for creating the part program for the CNC machine. So there are mainly two types of curve. One is the analytical curve and second one is the synthetic curve. The analytical curve will be defined by the analytic equations and the synthetic curves are defined by the number of set of data points. The analytical equations are used for representing the profiles of various engineering entities and components and the synthetic curves are used for representing the profiles of car bodies, aeroplane wings, propeller belts, shoes insoles, bottles, etc. And the examples of the analytical curve are lines, circles, circular arcs, ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. Well, the examples of synthetic curves are cubic splines, B splines and Bezier curves. So these are the three commonly curves used in the CAD CAM system. So we are going to find the first basic type of the analytical curve as a line and its parametric equation. So first of all, what is meant by the parametric equation? So if we consider any point P in the three coordinate system and the point can be changed its position from one point to another and it will be depending upon some time t. So we can write the point in terms of the other parameter as a t. So x will be written as x of t, y will be written as y of t and z will be written as z of t. So here t is the parameter or if we consider any other parameter like u then it will be written as x of u, y of u and z of t. So here the x is the function of x of t, y is the function of y of t, z is the function of z of t and same way if we consider other parameter as a u then it is the function of x of u. So here the x is depending upon the other parameter like t or u. So these functions or equations which are depending upon the other parameter will be called as the parametric equations. So now let's see the parametric equation of the line. Now let's consider a line between two points P1 having coordinates x1, y1, z1 and P2 having coordinates x2, y2 and z2. And if we draw a line between this point P1 to P2 and we need to find the parametric equation of these lines. So let's, there is a, the position vector for these points will be P1 bar and P2 bar. And if we consider any point P on the given line having coordinates x, y and z, then the position vector of this will be a P bar. Now we are going to introduce the parametric system such that its value will be u at point P and its value will be 0 at point P1 and value will be 1 at point P2. And there is a unit vector in the direction of the line. So using this representation we are going to find the parametric equation of this line in between these two endpoints P1 and P2. So let's map between the Cartesian space and parametric space using the relationship the ratio of endpoint length in Cartesian space to the parametric space which is equal to distance of P from P1 in Cartesian space to the parametric space. So the length in Cartesian space can be written as P2 minus P1 and the length of the line in parametric space will be written as 1 minus 0. So we can write P2 minus P1 divided by 1 which is equal to distance of P from P1. So it will be written as P minus P1 and in parametric space will be written as U minus 0. So we will be get U. So this is the relationship between Cartesian and parametric space as P2 minus P1 by 1 is equal to P minus P1 by U. And now we need to rearrange the equations and writing in the form of P. So we can get the value of p is equal to p1 plus u in bracket p2 minus p1 and the value of u in between 0 and 1. So this will be called as the parametric equation of the line. So using this parametric equation 
we can able to find the any points P and its coordinates on that given line in between this endpoints P1 and P2 or slightly outside of this line also. So this parametric equation in scalar form can also be written by replacing the value of P with X, Y and Z. So in the form of X, it will be written as X1 plus U in bracket X2 minus X1 and in form of Y will be written as Y1 plus U in bracket Y2 minus Y1 as well as Z is equal to Z1 plus U in bracket Z2 minus Z1. Now we are going to find the tangent vector. So the tangent vector will be represented as a P dash is equal to P2 bar minus P1 bar and again in scalar form will be x dash is equal to x2 minus x1, y dash is equal to y2 minus y1 and z dash is equal to z2 minus z1. As well as we can find the unit vector along the direction of line and it can be denoted as a n cap is equal to p2 minus p1 by l. So p2 minus p1 is nothing but the tangent vector and l is nothing but the length of line which can be calculated as p2 minus p1 and also can be calculated as a under root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square plus z2 minus z1 bracket square. So this is the parametric equation of the line. This is the tangent vector of the line and this is the unit vector along the direction of the line and this will be the length of line. So using this formulation we can able to find the parametric equation and any coordinates of point P on that given line as well as the tangent vector, unit vector and the length of line. So let's solve one numerical based on this. We have to write the equation of line having endpoints 3, 5, 8 and 6, 4, 3 and also need to find the tangent vector and points on the line at a given parameter u is equal to 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and 0.75. So first we need to let's write the given data. The given data is P1 coordinates and P2 coordinates as 3, 5, 8 and 6, 4, 3 and we need to write the parametric equation of the line which can be given as p is equal to p1 plus u in bracket p2 minus p1 and the value of u is in between 0 and 1. So we are going to write the value of p1 in the column vector form as a 3, 5, 8. The u value will be written as it is and p2 minus p1 again in column vector form as 6 minus 3, 4 minus 5 and 3 minus 8. So after calculating we will be get the P1 as 3, 5, 8 plus U as it is. 6 minus 3 will be 3. Then 4 minus 5 will be minus 1 and 3 minus 8 will be a minus 5. And the values of U is again in between 0 and 1. So this will be called as the parametric equation. And using this equation we can find the tangent vectors as well as the points on the line at a given parameter. So let's find the tangent vector. The tangent vector is given as P bar is equal to P2 bar minus P1 bar. So P2 minus P1 is already calculated here. So we are going to write as it is in the form of vector form. So it can be written as P bar is equal to IJK and in column vector 3 minus 1 minus 5. So we will get this as a 3i minus j minus 5k. So this will be called as a tangent vector. And now need to find the points on the line. So the coordinates of point on line first we have to find that u is equal to 0.25. So using this parametric equation we can able to find the points on line at a different values of u. So we are using this same equation replacing the values of u with the given point. So we can write 358 as it is plus the value of u will be replaced by 0.25 into 3 minus 1 minus 5 as it is and by calculating we will be get the three coordinates point as 3.75, 4.75 and 6.75. So these are the coordinates of point P at U is equal to 0.25. And in same way we can able to find the coordinates at U is equal to 0.5 and U is equal to 0.75 by replacing the values of U. So in similar case we can get the values and written in the tabulated format so the x, y, z coordinates of point P at point u is equal to 0.25 will be 3.75, 4.75 and 6.75 and the coordinates at u is equal to 0.50 will be 4.5, 4.5 and 5.5 and at u is equal to 0.75 are 5.25, 4.25 and 4.25. So in this way we will be able to 
get the coordinates of the point on a line at a given parameter also able to find the tangent vectors and also will be able to find the length of line for the given endpoints so thank you for watching